I'm going to show how to get the guitar tone from the Black Album by Metallica. Uh, the Black Album has a really amazing guitar sound, and a lot of people talk about it on the web uh, in forum discussions, videos, and everything else. <laughs> I created a tone using BiasMP and BiasFX, which are uh, guitar audio applications created by Positive Grid. And uh, I'm using Ripper as my digital audio workstation. For the guitar tone on this video, I recorded four tracks on top of each other and applied my BiasFX preset to all of them. Now I'll show the BiasMP and BiasFX plugins. Uh, at the end of this video, I'll explain how to download my Black Album preset uh, in case you're not familiar with BiasFX. Um, but if you want to learn how to create your own guitar tone using BiasMP and BiasFX, um, watch a video I uploaded called How to Get the Far Beyond Driven Tone by Pantera, uh, where I discuss in detail, step by step, uh, how to match the guitar tone of your favorite band. In summary, uh, first I create a digital amp matching the Black Album tone using BiasAmp. Uh, the primary feature here is the amp match in BiasAmp. All you need is a good quality guitar segment and BiasAmp will match the tone for you. It's a really incredible technology. After I created the Black Album tone of the amp, um, I brought my amp to the BiasFX plugin where I added a distortion pedal and a compressor. The amp tone matching is of course the main driving force here to get the Black Album sound. Um, after that, the second most important aspect is a multi-layer stereo recording, which I did here. I recorded my guitar medley four times on top of each other. Now let's compare a single track against the multi-layer version. The multi-track version will sound much stronger and much closer to the actual Black Album tone. Many people think a great guitar sound is driven only by the right pedal or the right amp, uh, but in heavy metal music in particular, uh, you have to record multiple tracks on top of each other, you know, to get a thick and heavy sound. Uh, the reason is, uh, every time we play the same guitar part, we're always going to be touching the strings in a slightly different way. Um, the subtle difference between the tracks when you record the same parts is what creates a, a nice stereo tone. If I zoom in the sound waves of the same guitar part, uh, you can see how the sound waves are different from one track to the next. Uh, let me just scroll here, and uh, you can see how they're different from each other. Um, same thing with the sound waves here and everything else. But when you play all tracks together, uh, they sound pretty heavy and in harmony with each other. <laughs> Uh, copy and pasting the same track multiple times won't make any difference. You have to record each track separately on top of each other. Many people would just record two tracks, uh, but in a lot of metal albums, players are actually recording four tracks. And that's it. Uh, you can download my complete Black Album preset in BiasFX, which includes both the amp and the effects. Uh, just type these keywords, DMO Black Album. I uploaded my preset just before I created this video. Uh, I tweaked the preset I uploaded a little bit because a preset needs to be adjusted uh, when you use it for recording, like I did here, uh, versus when you use it just to play along with the album, which I think is the primary scenario when people download the presets. Um, but if you want my preset to be exactly like I had it here with this video, you just need to turn off the equalizer uh, and, and tweak the distortion pedal.
6.0 for base. Two point five for volume and three point zero for gain. That's all. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.